So, NBA 2K25, man. I'm seeing all these videos popping up on my recommended. I'm seeing a lot of people sitting over here complaining about Pro-Am, um, Career Mode, Rec, uh, what else, Park, whatever the hell, My Team, whatever, the, you know, the usual typical stick, right? But here's the thing. You people still keep buying NBA 2K every single year. You're defeating the purpose. You know what I'm saying? You people sit here and you're tired of Ronnie 2K and you're tired of uh, Mike Wang and all those nerds over there. But yeah, every time a new 2K drop, first thing you people do is pre-order. You buy the regular edition. Some of you people go a step and beyond and buy the, and buy the ultimate edition. You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't matter who's on the cover art. You know, they use Kobe Bryant, RIP to Kobe Bryant, the Black Mamba, you know. And they basically profit off him, not once, but twice. You know what I'm saying? Before his death and after his death. And you people still sitting over here giving these people a green light. You know what I'm saying? Now, all of a sudden, we, we want to use the WNBA because Angel Reese and a couple other girls... Nobody cared about the WNBA, but all of a sudden, we care about it now, right? Listen, man, and I've been talking about this for a lot. This is why I say there's no hope for the NBA 2K community. What happens to all these other people? You know what I'm saying? The flights. Uh, what's the other dude? Um, LSK, Cash Nasty, um, all these other losers that you people sit here and you support blindlessly. You know what I'm saying? The agent dude. Um, I forgot the other dude's name. All these talking shields who get paid. It's the same thing. You know, I usually talk about the wrestling side, you know, WWE 2K, because I already know the talking heads. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to the NBA 2K community, it's the same thing. You people are a bunch of idiots. You know what I'm saying? They're charging y'all real life VC for clothes, haircuts. You know what I'm saying? Who in their right mind is going to buy VC, you know what I'm saying, just to buy some some clothes for your my player or whatever the fuck or buy levels or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That won't mean nothing when the next installment drops. You know what happened to NBA 2K24? All the all the VC that y'all dropped into that Oh, it don't mean nothing? Oh, okay. What about NBA 2K23? Oh, it don't mean nothing? You get where I'm going with this. Every year, you people come on here and you make your videos. Oh, I'm not buying this. Oh, I'm not buying that. Oh, I can't hit green lights. Blah, 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 blah. But yet, you're still buying this game over and over and over and over and over and over again. Proving that it doesn't matter what this shady company does, you people are going to support it blindlessly. So, don't get mad at Mike Wayne. Don't get mad at Ronnie 2K. Get mad at yourselves. Because if you value your money and you value yourself as a person, you wouldn't even support any of this business, this shady business tactic. But hey, it is what it is, right? We're still going to give them our hard-earned money, right? Just so we could be the best person on the park, right? So we could be the number one in AM. And some of you people... Hell, some of y'all are little kids. You know what I'm saying? Taking your mom's credit card, maxing it out. You know what I'm saying? And again, and for what? Just so you could be the best person who could hit all green lights? Come on, man. Cut it out, man. Same thing with the uh, Ruby LeBron or Diamond LeBron or whatever the highest uh, Emerald or whatever the highest uh, card or legendary card it is in my team. You know what I'm saying? The fact is this, man. NBA is the same as WWE 2K, the same as Call of Duty, same as FIFA, same as Madden. It's the same shit. They all use the same business tactics because idiots like y'all are going to sit here and keep buying and buying and buying and buying and buying and buying instead of sitting there saying, oh, no, I'm not buying the same game over and over again. You know. When ESPN 2K5 came out with Ben Wallace on the cover, that game was ahead of its time, man. That game was a chef's kiss. That was the absolute greatest basketball game to be ever produced, ever. Because you had real 
in the NBA fans making that game. They actually went out their way to make that game fun. They actually went out their way to make it feel like you're actually, or like you are a part of the NBA. You know what I'm saying? And Ben Wallace will always be a legend for that game because he graced the cover. Say what you want about the Pistons. Say whatever you want about them. But he will always be a legend for blessing the cover of one of the greatest basketball games to ever be developed. And that's the truth of it. You had NBA Streets. It's a good game. You know, you had a lot of good NBA titles. But nothing is going to compare to ESPN because it was $20 back then. You know what I'm saying? $20 didn't mean nothing. And that 20 adds up. You buy two copies, that's 40 You know what I'm saying? You buy two more copies, that's 80 And it kept going and going and going and going. And you get where I'm going with this. This, this NBA... This... NBA 2K bullshit they got now, this half fucking fried game or series, it's not going anywhere, bro. And you people are countlessly pouring money into a dead fucking horse. Again, you're the problem. You're not the solution. You're the problem. You're the reason why these games will never be better. You're the reason why these games are on life support. You're the reason why these games are an absolute joke. And they will always be an absolute joke. Because, again, when you have people who come on here and make their little shitty little rant videos and then turn around and uploading gameplay of them playing the game, mind you, and they'll come up with 151 excuses of why they bought the game. Oh, I bought the game to, uh, to, to review it. Oh, I bought the game uh, so you didn't have to. No, nah, motherfucker. You bought the game because you're a fan. You feel like you're missing out on something. All NBA 2K is updated roster. That's it. An updated roster. They lie about changing stuff. It's the same shit you've been playing since last year. Matter of fact, it's the same shit you've been playing for decades. So again, just cut it out. You bought the game because you're a fan, man. You're like, you people need someone who is really going to sit here and stand on what they say. I, I have not, I'm, and I'm being honest, I have not purchased an NBA 2K game at all. Because it's the same shit every fucking year, man. You're not missing out on nothing. What? Steph Curry finally goes up to 100 overall. Klay Thompson go up to 100 overall. Um... Damon Green, 101 for aggression. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's the same shit. What, LeBron James finally going to 101 overall? You know what I'm saying? It's the same shit. It's the same shit. So why keep buying the same shit? Just like Call of Duty, FIFA, Madden. You know what I'm saying? It's the same shit. You're not missing out on nothing. You people pour countless and countless and countless and countless and countless of money into those previous titles. And then when you get the new title, it's like you starting all over again. You know how much if you add up all that money that you people dump into this into these series, do you know that's over a hundred thousand dollars worth? If you really think about it, you people over here buying the highest, the highest amount of VC. Just to get a haircut. I remember they were charging VC for haircuts. You couldn't even preview the haircut. You had to buy the haircut. So at the end of the day, they know what they was doing. And I don't blame them for doing what they do because this is a business after all. It's all about maximizing uh, profit. I blame you people. Because you don't have to keep buying NBA. And y'all keep making these videos. Oh, NBA is greedy. NBA is this. 2K is that. Well, quit buying it. Why do you people keep buying it? But I know the excuse that you people going to say. Oh, uh, uh, it's, it, it, it's my favorite sport. It's the only game on the market. Doesn't matter. Play NBA 2K24. It's the same shit. Play NBA 2K23. It's the same shit. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to keep buying the same product over and over and over again. Ain't nothing new. NBA 2K26 is going to be the same shit over and over again. This is why you don't have no other uh, games coming out or even attempt to make a knockoff NBA game. Because you people are not going to support it. 
Look at three on three. Shit, even though it's not a NBA game or no no type of relations to it, nobody ain't playing that. You know, NBA Live, you still have NBA Live 19. Nobody's not playing that. NBA Live 18, nobody's not playing that. So again, it goes to show you what I've been saying for the longest. As a matter of fact, it goes to show you what I've been saying in this whole entire video. Don't blame them. Blame yourselves. Because you keep buying this game, man. You excited for nothing. And I don't care who gets offended at this video. I don't care who gets mad. I don't care who gets triggered. Get mad. Get triggered. Get pissed. Do whatever you want. I told y'all, man. It's the same shit every year, bro. Nothing is going to change. The only way this series is going to change, unless you people actually put your foot down and actually stand on some business. But we know you ain't going to stand on no business because y'all haven't stand on business for decades. You know what I'm saying? You'll be in the comments saying, oh, yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're not putting no action behind it. So it's just useless talk. So anyway, man. That's all I got for y'all, man. I don't have anything else really left to say about NBA. I mean, I'm not buying it. I don't care about it. You know what I'm saying? It's the same shit every year. Just like Call of Duty is the same shit every year. Just like FIFA, Madden, you, you get the trends. Same shit every year, man. Nothing changes. So, with that being said, you already know who it is, man. Lavish CEO, a.k.a. Scoom, and Scoom we trust. And on top of that, man, I'm done with it, bro. Until you people start learning that these companies don't care about y'all, hey, you gonna keep repeating the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result, and it will never happen. The only person you can blame is yourself because you've been warned countless of times. Stop trusting these people, but you're gonna trust them anyway. And this is why they will continue to fuck you every single time. No lube. No ditty. <laughs> you people are going to attend those ditty parties, man. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say, man. So have fun giving Daddy 2K all your money. You know what I'm saying? For my team pools, uh, for haircuts, clothes, whatever the hell BC is going to get y'all to buy, you know, level up your character just to get a 99 overall, just like you got on the last NBA installment. Now it's absolute. Same thing. With 2K23, absolute same shit, man. It don't mean nothing. You poured over $100,000 over the years. Let that sink in. Over $100,000. You could have got you a down payment on a house. You could have got you a car. You could have done a lot of things with a hundred grand. But instead, you gave it to Daddy 2K. And what did they do in return for your hard-earned money? absolutely nothing but fucked you no lube so y'all enjoy man all i know daddy 2k won't be getting none of my money i don't play nba 2k man sorry <laughs> that's just me i know it's the same game over and over again and i know y'all gonna continue to make your little rant videos and talk about uh well but they, they, they greedy but yet you're still gonna buy it right so i may watch a couple of y'all rant videos and i'm just gonna be in the background like man but you still bought it, though. You still bought it, though, you fucking idiot.